Bringing you stories about people in our community impacted by violence through our End Violence STL campaign. And we're tackling the issue from every angle. I do not want my husband in the city at all. If the viability of downtown suffers, we all suffer. If there's no downtown, there's no Chesterfield. St. Louis City leaders say a robust downtown is what leads to a stronger region. But right now, the city's crime rate has a lot of folks in the suburbs and even rural areas scared to come downtown. Yeah, and one News 4 viewer contacted News 4 this morning anchor Andre Hepkins to talk about Ferguson at first, but that led to a crucial conversation about St. Louis crime. It never stops. It never ends. It's As we talked, day, her hands every trembled. Day. It's every day, ongoing, every day. We're not showing her face or sharing her real name, so let's call her Jennifer from Jefferson County. Drive-by highway shootings, rolling gun battles. Her feelings of fear regarding St. Louis crime cause her to they, cry. They, they think they can do whatever they want to do. That's why the thought of her sister from Florida flying to Lambert Airport, renting a car and driving on a St. Louis area highway makes her hysterical. I heard about a shooting on the highway. The driver was killed immediately. Jennifer can't remember the last time she went to Bush Stadium to root for the Redbirds. She loves art, but hates the notion of going to Art Hill in Forest Park. St. Louis's homicide rate has her horrified. When is the last time you've been to the city of St. Louis for any reason? Approximately two years. She lives about 15 minutes south of the Arnold Water Tower, which is her cutoff point. Her nerves are so rattled she won't travel north of here. In fact, when her sister comes to town, they go south to have fun to places like Cape Girard. Sykeston and New Madrid. I can understand how someone would have that perspective. But Missy Kelly, Chief Operating Officer of Downtown STL Inc., says people need to balance that perception with perspective. Violent crime is typically people who know one another, so there are very few random acts of violence. But we cannot be operating by fear, or our economy, our not just our downtown economy, but our regional economy will truly suffer. And the St. Louis visitor is crucial to St. Louis's vitality. In fact, the St. Louis Convention and Visitors Commission says nearly 24 million people pump close to $5 billion into this community every year. If there's no downtown, there's no challenge. Chesterfield. Regional activity in downtown is even more critical than the conventions and that that are coming in. I do not want my husband in the city at all. When this woman's man does go to the city, he packs a pistol. I can't imagine my life without my husband. But she still panics. I don't feel that he would be treated fairly. And recent local and national controversial cases of white men shooting black men dead cause her concern since the majority of St. Louis shootings involve black men. If he has to defend himself against a black man, it scares me. He, he'd have a murder charge on him because he will defend himself. He, he will defend his property. Andre Hepkins, and News 4. The Forewarn Storm Team, certified St. Louis's most accurate forecast for four years in a row. Now, here's...